Now look. It's a little late tonight. I'm gonna come at y'all with some chill shit. I ain't finna get on y'all, but look. What could you do? Hey, what's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Glow. Glow Pierre, today, 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 I'm back at y'all with another video. Now look, I'm finna spit some knowledge for y'all. We're gonna get straight into it. Why? As a man, you should be working out. If you're a man and you are physically capable, you have no physical disabilities, you got arms, you got two arms, you got a pair of legs, you should be working out. There's no excuse. There's no excuse. You need to be working out. What's stopping you from, from going outside, taking a walk? You know, what's stopping you from doing some push-ups? Your head, nigga, you lazy. Come on, bro. Come on. And by working out, I'm not talking about just lifting weights. You know what I'm saying? You got calisthenics. I'm tired of people making excuses for why they not working out. You need to be in shape as a man, bro. Anybody can be in shape, but especially as a dude, you have to be in shape. People is going to treat you how you treat yourself. If you don't love yourself, you don't respect yourself, and you don't take care of yourself, why the fuck would somebody else do it? Working out is one of the highest, if not the highest form of self-love and self-respect. You're putting yourself through pain, through, honestly, uncomfortable bullshit to make yourself stronger in the end, right? You're putting yourself in uncomfortable situations because let's be honest, working out is, hey, that shit hurt. Working out hurts. Nobody can say it doesn't. Working out in itself is unenjoyable. We just learn to love it. I love working out. I love working out. I work out every day. And even I'm here telling you that that shit sucks. Working out sucks. Okay? But over time, you learn to love it. I love working out. Even though this shit hurts. Even though I don't feel like doing it all the time. I have to. It's just a part of who I am. Because I, I love looking good. I love this. You know what I'm saying? I love, I love this. It's just a part of me. It's just a part of me. I can guarantee you, I can guarantee you, say you had a pool party, right? Say you have an overweight man, right? A, a, a dude with a gut. I ain't, I ain't shaming nobody. I'm just saying how it is. A dude with a gut, right? And a nigga with a six pack, muscles, all that. Who you think is going to be more comfortable with taking that shirt off? It's not rocket science, my nigga. Who you think is going to be more comfortable with their appearance. If you do at least 100 push-ups a day. 100. 100 push-ups a day. Do at least, at the very minimum, 100 push-ups a day. For, let's say, a month. 100 push-ups a day for a month. And just look how you feel. Just, you feel, and just, just look how your body changes, bro. You gonna notice you got some definition in your biceps, your arms, you know, your chest. You'll get some more definition. Maybe you won't have so much of a bird chest. And you're going to feel better because working out makes your brain feel better. You know what I'm saying? It releases dopamine. I can record five videos a day, right? I can record five videos in a day span. I can eat what I got to eat and do all this shit on the YouTube aspect. School, I can finish a project. I can do a paper, whatever I got to do in school, right? But if I don't work out, I won't feel like I was productive. I'm being real. I could do all that shit on YouTube, do my schoolwork, but if I don't work, if I don't get a workout in, I won't. I won't feel productive for the whole day. I'm not gonna lie. It will be. It will be days where I don't do shit but work out, and I I go to sleep like a baby. I'm being honest. I won't do. Let's say I have a. Let's say I I got homework. I gotta do like a paper or something. Either I'll, I'll, push, I'll procrastinate on the paper, I'll push it back, 
or I won't I won't have a video plan for that day. I'll just be in bed. I ain't gonna lie. Yeah, I still got days like that. I'm not perfect. I'm not perfect. Even though I'm Glow Pierre, I am not perfect. But that does not happen all the time. It's every once in a blue moon where I have a day where I just be in bed the whole day and work out and that's it. As long as I get that workout in, I'm good. All right? Like Dion said, you look good, you feel good. You feel good, you play good. You know what I'm saying? When you when you when you put when you've been working out, when you've been putting in work, you've been you've been doing the work, you've been you've been lifting or you've been doing your push-ups, you know, you've been you've been doing your squats or whatever, and you put a shirt on, that shit snug on you, it snugs your muscles, and you just you just walk out the house. You go to the function or whatever. You got your shirt on. This shit look. This you look. You look good. You know what I'm saying. You got the arms out, and people notice that shit too. You know what I'm saying. People respect. People respect the work you've been putting in, because it takes a lot of discipline, and a lot of hard work, and a lot of patience, to have a good body. It's not some shit that happens overnight. It doesn't happen in a day. It doesn't happen in a week, even a month. You know, it takes some. It takes years. You know, years of patience, months of patience, months of dieting, you know, discipline, hard work. But it pays off immensely. The confidence is crazy. Of course, if you do, you're gonna have the, you're gonna have the females on you. You know, they want they want to touch your arms. You know what I'm saying? They want to they want to fill up on you because it's just see, look, look. I mean, what can I tell you, man? What can I tell you? It's just, it's just crazy. You know how many compliments I get on my body a day? I'm not saying this to like brag or nothing. I'm just being honest. You know how many compliments I get on my body in a day? From men and women in a day? I'll say, I'll wait, I'll wait. I'm not gonna lie to you. I do not like rest days. I really hate rest days. If my body, if oh man, my body can't even keep up with my 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 body can't keep up with me. If my body didn't need to rest, I would not have a rest day. I would be working out every day, damn near every just every day. There's no days off. I would have no days off because rest days are so fucking annoying. I that. What I said earlier about me not feeling productive, that's how I feel on rest days. I hate rest days. I only have one rest day a, a week, and that's on Sunday. And on Sundays, I don't feel like I did shit because I can't get my workout in. And even if I don't get my, like, man workout in, I'll always do, like, some light exercise. Like, I'll go for a walk. But they just don't do me justice. You know what I'm saying? I could go on a walk any day. <sighs> but, yeah. You need to be working out, bro. I, I, you need to be working out. You need to be. You need to work out. As a man, you got to work out. You need to be in shape. You need to be in shape. You need to be like you just walk in a room. Posture. On a honey. Shit, Walk in a room. You know, you got your muscles on you. Walk in the room, you just, it's over. You got the dudes looking at you, respect. Something jealous, but mostly respect. You got the females looking at you. That's really the main reason you need to work out is confidence. Yes, I got this five. Confidence. Confidence. Working out gives you confidence. And then the confidence that you get from the workouts helps you perform even better in your workouts. Let's, for example, let's say your max squat is 250, right? Let's say that's your max squat is 250. You get closer to that 250 range, you're gonna feel confident and be like, yeah, I got, I got this shit, I got this shit. And then once you hit the 250, you're gonna have the confidence to keep pushing yourself and keep going for even higher weights. That's how workout is, that's how workouts is, bro. Literally, man, pff, I can't tell you how many times I'll hit a PR Oh my gosh, the day I the day I hit PRs, I'm that nigga. <laughs> like I'm that nigga regardless. But the day I hit PRs, 
You can't tell me shit for the rest of the day. You can't tell me nothing. I don't care. I hit a PR. Stop talking to me. Stop talking to me. You can't tell me shit. You can't tell me nothing. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Bro, I'm tired as hell. But no. The day I hit a PR, nobody can tell me nothing. Nothing. Work out. Work out. Now, I've been dropping workout videos recently, right? I got a couple more interesting workout videos for y'all. Including one of them is my very own workout that I will be doing on this channel. When that drops, I need that shit to blow up. All right. Once I drop my workout, there should be no excuses. Nobody better ask me for a routine. There should be no excuses why everybody watching this channel shouldn't be looking like this or glowing like how I am. No excuses. No excuses because I gave you the sauce. If I give you the sauce and you don't use it, you a dumbass. Respectfully. But anyway, it's a quick little video. Let's go up here. I'm going to catch you on the next one.